going to be my iMats haul. Everything that I got at iMats last weekend in Pasadena. And first of all, let me just say thank you, thank you so, so, so much. Like, I literally did not expect to meet so many of you guys. And I was starstruck by people who were coming up to me to ask to take pictures with me. And I was like, um, yeah. And for me to be able to put faces with you guys was just like... I can't even explain it because I've met some of you guys before who watch my videos, but never that many at one time. I'll link my IMATS vlog in this video right here, and then I'll also link it in the down bar if you haven't seen it. It's kind of long, but I had to cut it down from over an hour's worth of footage to it's around 18 minutes. And for Adam's commentary, my boyfriend Adam, I love you. Thank you so much for filming. You're the best. He watches my videos, so I know that he'll see this, so mwah, thank you. He filmed it. His commentary is hilarious throughout the video, so make sure you guys check it out, and I'm just so humbled and appreciative, and like Matthew McConaughey says, very unexpected, but greatly accepted, and I love you guys so much. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do what I do, so mwah, thank you so so much so so much and a lot of you guys have been asking about imath new york as of now i will be going so i'll keep you posted on that speaking of my imath vlog you guys said you loved seeing that side of me i had a lot of fun vlogging it was my first vlog i've been wanting to start a vlog channel for a little while now so i probably will in the next few months but i need to come up with a really cute and clever name but I'm not good at coming up with cute and clever names, so if you guys have any ideas for a name, please comment down below or tweet me or Facebook me because I would love to hear them and if I use one of your names, I'll be sure to give you credit, but I would like for it to be something to do with like my name, Amanda, or Amanda Ensing, my first and last name, so help me, I need your help. And I would like to do like advice videos, fun tags, like the chubby bunny tag looks hilarious, and also just like follow me around videos on my vlog. So thumbs up for a vlog channel. Last announcement before we get started. Check out my last video if you have not. I had to upload it twice because I uploaded it Friday night and there was a spelling error and I knew it would bug me forever if I didn't fix it in the video. One of my friends caught it. So I had to re-upload it and fix that error because it was annoying me. You guys didn't really catch it, but make sure you check it out and comment if you didn't because a lot of you guys, there was like at least maybe a hundred comments of people asking questions and I didn't get to see them. So please go and comment again if you had a question on that video. So let's get into the haul, shall we? First two products are a gift from my friend Naomi or Naomes. I've talked about her before. She gave me two products. I kind of freaked out. And the first thing is the Lorac Pro Palette. Like, oh my gosh. I've been wanting this for a long time because I almost got it instead of the Naked 3. And then I ended up getting skin products and didn't get either. But it's a gorgeous palette. It's got mattes on the top and shimmer shades on the bottom. I would love to do some tutorials with this. And this is what I have on my eyes today. I did like a really quick pretty much matte look. And then she also gave me an OCC Lip Tall, Lip Tall? <laughs> Lip Tar, OCC Lip Tar in the shade Black Dahlia. This is a vampy berry color and I love my vampy shades so I can't wait to try this out. So now getting into things I got at iMats. At iMats there are a lot of brands that are only sold online or at makeup emporiums that are in California and there's even some smaller brands that are just getting started so people can discover them, a lot of makeup artistry, targeted brands, so I was really excited to swatch and see a lot of them in person. So the first brand I'm going to show you is the one I was most excited about. A lot of my friends on Instagram use them and then my friend Nicole or Nicole Guerrero, I know you guys know her, she has used some of their lip glosses before so I was like, let's see what what all the fuss is about and it is from Dose of Colors. I already have them in my lipstick holder. Um, this lipstick holder is by buyallegory.com. I'll link them down below. I have a few of these and I love them. So I got all the lipsticks and all of the glosses and I'm obsessed and in love so far. I am wearing one of the lipsticks right now and I'm wearing this one which is in Love Potion. The lipsticks are so creamy. They remind me a lot of Lime Crime lipsticks which I really like. A light vanilla scent but not really anything and they're very hydrating and pigmented. I've also tried a few of the lip glosses so far and they 
are bomb. I don't really know if I would describe them as a lip gloss though because they're a very liquidy, watery texture, but they're extremely pigmented, a lot of color payoff, but they're not sticky whatsoever, but they also don't dry like a liquid lipstick would. It gives you like a little bit of a sheen, but it's not like a high shine. I usually apply a few layers and that way it kind of looks more like a gloss, but it's not a gloss if that makes sense any sense whatsoever. My favorite one is this one that was just released on the day of IMAX and it is called Undressed. I was wearing this in my skincare video and this was the first one I had tried before that video and I was like, oh, I'll give these a whirl, try it on. Oh my gosh, it was so gorgeous. It's not as brown as it looks in the tube, but comes out more peachy on me. But these colors are so pigmented. Another one they just come out with on that day was Wild Child and this Remind me of Show Orchid by MAC, which I love because it has like a purple iridescence. So if you guys want a lipstick or lip gloss swatch video on my lips, thumbs up and let me know because these are seriously gorgeous. I also got three butter glosses from NYX, you guys know I love these. They have some new shades and I wasn't expecting to see them there. And I had a second before eye mask was about to be over on Sunday and I was like, oh my gosh, let's go to NYX. So I was looking at the glosses and I was like, uh... Uh, hold up. This I don't have this color. What is this color? Oh, it's one of the new ones. This one is in Fortune Cookie. This one is Madeline. And this one is Angel Food Cake, which is a mauve. So a mauve, a brownie nude, and a pale nude. So I am super pumped about these because you guys know I love them. I know they're on NYX's website, but I don't know when they'll be like at Ulta. Next, I got the Perry and Spirit Brush Cleanser. I've heard so many people talk about this as an amazing brush cleanser. I know a lot of makeup artists use it. And I wear makeup pretty frequently for filming, for blogging, for everything else, so I wanted a really good quick brush cleanser. This set that I got was only $25, and for what you get, I thought it was a really good deal. You get this, this was the bigger brush cleanser. You get a little spray bottle with brush cleanser, and then you also got a little jar that comes with a grid. This stuff blew my mind last night, like absolutely, I was blown away. I used it to clean all my brushes last night and it took maybe 10 minutes, which I thought was insane. Next, I have some products from a brand called Kaylin, I think is how you say it, and they gave me a few products to try. First, they gave me their gel eyeliner, and what it is is you unscrew it and you have the product, and then the top, you just pull it and there's a little brush, and I think most of their products are packaged like this. I believe I've seen them in like Ipsy bags and stuff. I think that's where I've seen these products before, but I haven't seen anyone else really talk about it. So I got an eyeliner, a tinted lip balm. This is in the color Scarlet. It's like a coral red. And then they also gave me a brow color. This is in the color Coco. Then I went to the eye candy booth and they gave me a bunch of glitters to try out. So thank you so much. I was really intrigued by their products when I went to their booth because I saw all these people walking around with like glitter lips. You can see in my vlog there are tons of people that had glitter over their lipsticks and crazy glitter on their eyes and there were a lot of glitter booths but everyone had told me that they went to eye candy and I was like okay I want to go over there. I love glitter. So she was swatching them on my hand and the glue is so cool. This is called liquid sugar and this is the base but it's a water liquid texture and when she was putting it on my hand there was no fallout the colors were so pigmented and with glitter it can be really hard because when it falls everywhere glitter is like the herpes of arts and crafts I will find it in my hair on my face months later and I'm like where did this come from so I'm excited to see how this works I got caramel apple which is a gold with some green I got a jawbreaker which is a silver ginger snap which is a copper then double Double Bubble, which is a pink. I really liked this one. And then this one is called Chocolate Chip. This is a really dark brown, and she applied this on my hand over like a black liner, and I was like, oh, that looks so good. So I think this would be gorgeous all over the eyes. So I think that means I need to do a glitter tutorial, don't you? I also got an eyeshadow from their booth, and I believe this color is new, or the shadows are new, and this is in the shade Coffee Bean. I think this would be a gorgeous neutral brown, but I almost wanted to try it for contouring. I know it looks really dark on camera, but it looks similar to Chanel's gray contouring powder they had, so I might give it a whirl. I mean, it's only makeup, right? We can wash it off. And of course, I had to get some more of my million dollar tan. I was at their booth quite a bit, so I got some more of my spray, face lotion, and the little applicator. I have a video on how I tan if you guys want to see that. Then I picked up this little bag of goodies from White lightning filled with some of my favorite products. I have the brow bar to go which I love and mine was pretty much donezo so I got another one of these. 
two glosses. It comes with the nude gloss, which is my favorite of their glosses. They also have a new one that's salmon that's really pretty, and then it comes with a whitening pen. So, since I'm hauling all these products, I don't really think it's fair for me to show them to you without giving something back. So, I'm going to give two of these away. Two of you guys will win a little sweetheart special. I thought it'd be appropriate for Valentine's Day to give you guys something. So, all you have to do is check the description bar. I will have all of the rules down there below. You're just going to have to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. Check the description bar for all the rules, and I'll enter you. So, good luck. The last few products I'm going to show you aren't from iMats, but they're from my trip. So... On the way to the airport, I decided to stop by Sephora and pick up my Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. This is my holy grail lip balm I always rave about. If you saw my last haul, I got the Creme de Rose Dior Lip Balm, which I'm still really liking so far, but I just really, really miss this in my life, so I decided to pick this up. It's only $6, and it is the best thing since sliced bread for your lips. I also picked up the Origins Ginseng Mascara. I ran out of my Maybelline, and I was at Origins getting a sample of one of their eye creams. I wanting to try and they're like oh try our mascara so they gave me the wand and I was like well guess I'll get it because it seemed really really good I haven't tried it yet because I had mascara on and I tried it in the store but the fact that it looked good when I had mascara already on meant that I think this is going to be awesome then lastly we went to Lush the Lush near me is a few hours away so anytime I'm near a Lush store I take advantage and go see what's new so I had Adam go with me because Adam's never been to Lush but I bought some products for him in the past like the shaving cream and stuff so he got their hair styling cream he hasn't tried it yet but I got him to get that I'm turning him into a Lushy. I decided to try the Breath of Fresh Air Toning Water. The reason I got this is because my skin has been so dry this winter. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I'm oily combination. I get oily in this area. But the outsides of my face especially are so dry during winter. Last thing I'm going to show you is from Sigma. Sigma had a VIP launch party on Saturday, so thank you Sigma so much for having me. It was such a fun event. I've worked with Sigma since I started YouTube. They're a great company to work with. I swear by their brushes if you haven't noticed on my channel. So I'm going to show you a little preview of their new collection. This is called the Born to Be Collection. It's kind of like a punk rock kind of vibe I got from it. So you get a lot of really fun colors to play with in here. You get three glosses and I loved the glosses in there in light collection. You get a fun pink, a gold, and a purple. You get this shimmery berry blush. It kind of looks like NARS Sin just in the pan. You get a lip concealer which I'm excited to try because I love the MAC Lip Erase. Like I always wear it before my lipsticks. Then three eyeliners, blues, and a darker one. And it also comes with an eyeshadow palette which I loved the In Light palette that came in their last collection. So here is what the palette looks like. Let me know if you want a tutorial. All these fun browns and coppers, which you know I love. And then they threw in this fun little blue. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but I want to do that in a look because it's really pretty and I've never used blue before. So I'm really excited to try this out. And the good thing is, is you don't have to buy it as a collection. You can buy it separately. It launches in early February. So I'll link all the details down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. Thank you again so much to everyone who talked to me. I love you guys more than life. And make sure to check the description bar so you see for the giveaway and everything else that I mentioned throughout the video. And thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. This is homemade bubble tea. The struggle is real because there's no boba near me in Tennessee. Maybe I should open up a shop. Why is it so cold outside? Like, literally, I'm so over cold weather. Puerto Ricans plus cold weather? Nah. Now I can go play Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. If you don't play video games, then just disregard that. Cheers. If you don't love Super Mario, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. That's a wrap.